All right, so today is currently Monday. I have a flight back home at 7.30 tonight, but like last year, hanging out at Double J, and this thing's here. Phenomenal car. Mark one rabbit truck, magnesium wheels, ABA swap. Even has a Mark III dash. And I've been shooting a lot of photos of this car. This thing, like, beautiful. But now, ah, uh, Carrie just brought her Mark one back. Joey, her husband, gonna take me for a ride. And I, I love this car. I love it. Absolute beauty. I've had the best Uber rides the past week, like, of all time. Am I, am I clear to hop in? Yeah, hop in. Oh, I'm so excited. Crank windows are the best windows. Yeah. I see it would be a little stiff, but it works. It works. Yeah, it's all good. It works. Oh, I hear that, that whistle you're talking about. No, that. no that's an eagle. Yeah. It's a baby eagle. That's freedom. <laughs> that is, it's a freedom whistle. really smooth though like there's smooth, no clunks over these bumps easy driving car it's a very easy driving car like i don't hear a single creak or anything like it's pretty sorted I, what I suspension spent, is it on well for the internet people this is on uh this is on kw's better reality raceland in the same style so the four doors had them um but uh but we lucked out on this one they were destroyed yeah and just from you know pu pulling on it and getting caught and so normal wear and tear normal wear and tear so i i found a guy on the oregon coast yeah. named bigfoot bob oh, that's good that's a guy for sure. sorry beaver creek bob oh great guy and beaver creek bob has a humongous junkyard like but, but he does not sell parts. Oh wow! It's his own stuff, and so uh, I knew him, yeah. and uh, of him, never really hung out. But I knew yeah. I, we, I stopped by. He showed me some things, you know, passing through. Yeah. Uh, but then I, but then I found out that he had uh, that he had these these a Jetta four door out in the bushes, and uh, so I, I I met his son. His son is the marketing uh, uh, manager for Tillamook Cheddar. Oh. And the Tillamook Cheddar company, the media company, uh, manufactured, bought all these little mini buses. These miniature, like cut in half, two real small oh, yes. air-cooled buses, yeah. okay? And they those travel around the US. So he's in charge of that. So his father is Beaver Creek Bob. Wow. And so I met his son and he's like, I'll get you those parts, no problem. So, uh, uh, so long story short is is he, he says, well, what do you want to pay for him? And I'm like, well, well, I mean, whatever, you know, I mean, whatever you think you need for him. Yeah. And he says, well, the car's in Blackberry Vines. So I'm going to have to cut up my way in, put a chain on it, drag it out. Drag and I'm like, there. what, $10 a piece for as many as you can get out of that car? He says, I'll do it for 10, 10 bucks a piece. And I'm like, okay. So I bought 10 clips. Nice. And because uh, it's, it's, it's four across here and four across there and I have extras yeah. in case they break. These top ones, yeah. Yeah, and so I got those and um, and then I bought uh, uh, I bought 
about the, the Euro front end from uh, from Thomas Henson. And Thomas Henson is in the Netherlands, I think, or something. Yeah. And he uh, he runs a uh, him and his wife run a pet cemetery. So yes, they live with the front yeah. end, all brand new. Right. So he set me up on the front end. So I got uh, I got uh, a whole new front end for five hundred and fifty bucks. And he's a he's a specialist for Mark One Jettas. And uh, and then I ended up finding uh, brand new tail lights. Uh, very hard to find Jetta tail lights. Very yeah. very hard to find Jetta tail lights. Anything Jetta is just less up. Yeah, it really is. They love the Golf and Giant. That's the Star Child. Yeah. Whereas the Jetta's like, eh, it's kind of there. You know. Uh, what else? Uh, I found a guy here in Portland that had another set, complete set dashboard, door panels, and everything yeah. for a two door. Uh, I bought that for backups, and um, I picked the best out of them. Oh, so it, this car has the best of those pieces. Yeah. I mean, the, the interior is fantastic. I car. mean, it's not terrible, but it's not also not perfect. So, I mean, for 1980. For a 1980 with 243,000 miles on it, it's not bad. Yeah. And with this really good. how this car rides right now, being 1980. And boosted, it yeah. rides like comfy, normal daily yeah. driver. It does. So you know we got a we got a scramble button down here. Using the boost again, yeah. So we can you know we can go to we can go to stage two. Here, it's turned off. We can turn on uh, stage two here. Where's it at? Here? There it is, stage two. So how much boost is that now? Oh, I don't know. Let's see. that is yeah. the mirrors and then I bought a set of outside door handles not put them on yet but the mirrors and the door handle are the window cranks on the inside I, I found out later on that the mirrors are like a thousand dollars from this guy wow and the door handles are like a, like eight hundred dollars for the set and I was Jeez. like what that's crazy that's crazy it's not it's not worth it but I guess that's what people pay for them so To make it seal properly yeah. with the big bore, so I bought an extra gasket. So I have an extra fell pro gasket, um, and then uh, the cylinder head. So um, I wanted to keep it OEM as possible looking, yeah. but I wanted big valves. And so the trick was is that it is to convert it from uh, it's still mechanical lifter, but the thing is is that um, uh, we used hydraulic Audi 5000 intake valves that are three groove valve keepers, and then we converted it to mechanical. So oh, it has OEM big valves. I see. And, 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 and three groove three groove keepers instead of single groove keepers. Gotcha. Okay, and then and it's um, still mechanical, correct? It's still all mechanical. Gotcha. And then uh, it's got a G grind cam in it and uh, a light 
port and polish, just, you know, kind of more like a gasket match. Yeah, and you said Mercedes injectors as well. Mercedes Benz 240, or, uh, yeah, 240 injectors, um, the uh, Audi 5000 warm-up regulator, a um, the stock 81 uh, CIS fuel distributor with lambda frequency valve. It's the worst problem. That's, that, well, the, well the, here's the thing. So if it has a frequency valve, you have variations of fueling. So yeah. you have uh, oxygen sensor fueling, which is tries to stay at stoichiometric. And then you have uh, wide open throttle fueling. And then you have cold start fueling. Okay. So I have my cold start fueling on a Hobbs switch from Collins airplane. Wow, and then cool. my full throttle switch is hooked up to my full throttle enrichment. And then my warm up regulator is, is runs throughout the whole range. And so, um, so it works, it just works. Um, yeah, you know, I mean, the there is a limit to the power you can make with it, clearly. I mean, yeah. I'm gonna say probably maybe 14 PSI, and then I'm probably have to upgrade the fuel pump. Yeah. Um, you know, go with like a wall, like a wall row inline or something yeah. that's bigger, right? And, um, and so, yeah, so, uh, you know, fueling is, if there's, there, I mean, it's plenty for what we have going on right now. Oh, yeah. It's a lot of fun to drive. Oh, yeah, and, great. Um, you know, it's just, uh, it's just fun to drive, easy to drive. It's the wife car. Yeah, this car, it's so impressive. And it rips. It's, it, it rips for what it is. Yeah. You said this car makes like, what, 100 and yeah, like 120, maybe. Give or take? Yeah, give or take five or six, you know, maybe. And honestly, it feels like the perfect amount. You know, it's, it's, I mean, we always want more. Of course. We always want more, but like, yeah. it's the perfect amount for like, uh, you know, for just, you know, just having fun in your car. You know, and it's like it's it's a momentary for excitement and like yeah. all the feedback you get from it. You know, um, it's not really. I mean, it's a little harsh, but I mean, it's 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 that kind of a car. You know, that's the type of build. But this one is like a daily driver status. You know, it really is. Um, it's just yeah, super so fun to drive. I'm blown, easy. I'm blown away at how just comfy the car is. Oh, I, I think it's fun. 
I think it's a fun sound. It's like, oh, whoa, are those baby, baby eagles? <laughs> <laughs> you know? uh, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you. So the clutch. Oh, little, little. Yeah, the clutch is a bug disc. It's a bug disc, unsprung disc, with a 200 millimeter pressure plate and flywheel. The okay. pressure plate I modified. I added a couple more straps to it. Yeah. So that on downshifts it won't just snap off. So is this factory what five speed or four speed? Factory five speed. Okay. With the Pelican. With the, oh, the Pelican diff. Pelican diff. Okay. Yep. Nice. Yep. And it's just you know the standard tall ratio. You know, yeah. It's, it's uh you know it's not like a sport GTI gearing or anything. You know it's it's, it's long winded. But it feels kinda, good. Just kind of nice for you know for yeah. the turbo. You know you can kind of run those gears out a little bit longer. It feels good for what it is. And if you wanted like to just gate on the highway, you're not right. at. 5,000 RPM, right? Like, yeah. oh, 80 miles an hour. This car is fantastic. I'm so glad I'm running this car. I was saying, like, all of my. I said, this is my Uber for today. Oh, yeah. I've had fantastic Ubers the past two weeks. <laughs> I got Brian's car, I can drive this thing. I've had great cars to ride in. I'm trying to get it to pop. <laughs> I heard the one with that nice loud. There's a good one. <laughs> but they're nice, authentic pop, which is cool. Oh, yeah. Versus just like, let out the gas and you, it pops for eight minutes to a diesel. Yeah, no, we don't like that. No. Just the natural ones that happen. But yeah, I mean, so. Even at like an idle, it's not, it's just smooth the whole yeah. time. Uh, Tall and I tuned it together. So uh, we did, uh, we just, it's just, it's just basic. It, it, like I said, everything just works. Yeah. So wait, so th does this bottom end have 240,000 miles on it? No, just the car. Okay. So just the whole the, the whole engine got gone. Oh, through. engine and trans were gone through. I wasn't through. sure if you just did the top end. Okay, I see. Yeah, engine and trans were gone through, and um, you know, added all the European oil cooler. Yeah. And, you know, the turbo kit. And so such. about how many miles do you guys have on the this fresh setup, the current setup? Uh, with the way it is right now, I would say probably approaching five thousand miles. And any issue since the? Um. So yeah. So the oil pressure sending units. Um, I got some dirt in there or something, so it wants to. Yeah. Uh, either, either it gets, either, either you know, it gives a false reading of low oil pressure. Okay. But I have a mechanical gauge, so it's. Yeah, we can see. I know that we it's got pressure. oil yeah, pressure. Yeah, we have pressure. But it also has a high oil pressure warning. So like at, at 2,000 RPMs, it wants to check oil pressure. Okay. And if it's not at a certain amount, I might have the wrong switches in there. But uh, for the for the settings, you know, of where yeah. you need to be. But when I know it has oil pressure, I know it. it know it, you know, it doesn't have any problems. With this that. thing handles bumps like like a stock car. It's yeah. great. Again, I, thank you for the ride. I appreciate it. Oh, Carrie, yeah. Carrie actually went home and picked us up so I could just see it some more. And he's like, You want to go for a ride? And I was like, Yes, yes, I do right now. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. What a fantastic car. Good times. Good times. Yeah, I, I, thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. This, hey. is, this thing is an amazing car. No problem. My pleasure. Things if you want. You know, meters. Yeah. You're gonna have a 710 cap, you see that? Yeah. 710. I see a really nice uh, That's the down pipe down, down, down there. Mm -hmm. I can get down there a little bit. Not burn myself, but that looks real nice. What a great car. Yeah, and again, for $300 that you buy right? it for. 300 bucks from the original owner. Can't beat that. Fantastic car. Absolutely phenomenal car. Like I said, I saw this car last year. I didn't know all the details about it. And then this year, I learned all the cool details about it. But then the ride in the car on top of everything else, this car is just fantastic. This was kind of an impromptu video just because we stop here after the show every year to hang out for a little bit and see what kind of cars are here. But the ride in this thing was fantastic. And also, that thing is quite beautiful as well. But like, mmm. Mark 1 Jetta Coupe, period correct, rides like a dream, rips, so sick. I don't know what else will be in this video, but hopefully you enjoyed that. I'm probably gonna leave everything in because Joy's a great dude, and as to hear him talk with the excitement he has about this car, 
it's just it's cool to listen to and a lot of knowledge i didn't know so i'll probably leave all that in because honestly it was super enjoyable for me so hopefully you guys enjoyed it as well learn something new and just appreciate what this car is i mean like this thing is beautiful beautiful Oh, it's so good to the wagon. Okay, we are officially back home. It's Tuesday afternoon, about 3 p.m. And I've been up since 7 a.m. Monday morning. Because flying from the West Coast to the East Coast, flying forward in time. And my flight got delayed uh, last night. It was supposed to leave at 11.22 p.m. from Phoenix to Orlando. And I'm up to 140. So I got in this morning at like 8.30 a.m. But it's been... A lot of hours that I've been awake, which I, I can run on no sleep, but we're getting to the point where I'm kind of pushing it and I'm very, very tired. But wagon's back home. We're back home. Had a fantastic time on the West Coast. Again, shout out Brian. Also, thank you, Carrie and Joey for taking me a ride in the beautiful, that Mark 1 Jetta is so good. Rides perfect. The right amount of power. Just absolutely amazing car. But yeah. The end's video here, it's been long enough. I have to edit this one, post the show video still, cause I'm like two days behind now. And then I'm home today, tomorrow. I think I'm leaving Thursday to go to Richmond, pick up Miley. We head to Debs of the Gap. Uh, we'll be there Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And I think I'm back to Florida the following Tuesday. And then after that, there's also like Slandon of Gatlinburg I was supposed to kind of go to, or like I got invited to go to. But like, man, it's bad. That's that's four weekends in a row being gone. And I've done a lot of traveling this month and I'm a little bit tired. So maybe slam enough Gatlinburg, maybe not. But for sure, Dubs at the Gap, if you want to see Molly for the first time, she'll be out there. Don't get your hopes up too high. She's a driver. She's got plenty of little nicks and things. It's not a perfect car, but I love her. So it'll be cool to have that car out there, drive it around. Hopefully no issues, fingers crossed. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Do not forget, be thankful for every single day. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.